Hi friends, in the last video we have seen some wildcard details. Now we are going to see like a regular expression. See the regular expression will match against any regular expression is uh, inside like you know, attributes. So we will consider. So regular expression. So we'll match against a regular expression. So in the process. The next one is next match type is range. The range match type will match if it falls within a specific range of values. The syntax for this one is syntax for the value must be the values of x and y coordinates. And it will separate by two dots x dot two dots y. And the most important attribute is like dynamic attribute. If you make it like a dynamic, so well, we see if we make it like a dynamic, the expression within will match an expression within read, write, navigate and wait stages so during runtime. If we select like if you make like a dynamic attribute so will matches an expression within read or write navigate and wait stages during runtime. If you observe here, different match types are available. So it depends on the data type of the attribute value. So, for example, so wildcard and regular expressions are available for the text-based attributes and whereas greater than, less than and are available for number-based attributes. So, if you observe here, it's a like no text attribute. The wildcard and regular expressions are available for text-based attributes. Whereas, the greater than, less than, are available for number based attributes. So apart from that like less than and greater than you can see the dynamic attribute you know dynamic attribute is available. The dynamic means the specific value is not so for an attribute straight away when you design the business object but the value is supplied instead when the business object is running. So in a match type, you can see the drop down menu. Right now, the x is 12 and y is 209. And if you select 
dynamic it becomes disabled means the dynamic the values it will take in a values like due to runtime only so by selecting the dynamic attribute the values in application molder becomes disabled so we can set up we can set dynamic attributes So in the individual read stage, or write stage, navigate stage. and wait stages wait stage properties forms that reference the element So if you observe in the properties form so we'll notice that whenever we assign any dynamic uh, attribute we'll notice that three dots button will be enabled and pressing it will allow us to enter the expression for the various attributes so hi friends um, first we'll see the difference between like room you know, uh the dynamic with dynamic attributes and without dynamic attributes so for that one let me delete these elements and click on add child and then uh, capture like a button one identify and the button one and let me rename it and then add one more element and identify and click on capture and replace the element one with the uh, button two so in button one i'm going to change the value like you know we like I'm not going to change any attributes here. Let me leave it like a default one and button two. Now I'm going to change some values here like a height. So I'm making it like a, right now the height is like a 51. And now I'm going to change this value. I'm not going sorry, I'm not going to change this value. I'm making dynamic. Means we can pass an input through the stages with the help of record parameters. And now I'm going to use these two buttons. Now we'll see the difference between with and without dynamic so drag and drop navigate stage to open an application launch and then drag and drop one more if I click 
so here what I did, I drag the button 1 and you can see the parameters, it's disabled. And you can choose an action icon press and now I'm going to use the button 2. Navigate and drag and drop the button 2. So here you can see the three dots are enabled. So since I changed the attributes to dynamic in button 2, see in button 1 I have not changed, so it's like a disabled. Uh, next, go to like a button 2, if you, it's enabled. If you click on here, you can see the height and the value, so you can pass it dynamically. So we'll take the inputs from here. And there's a difference between like dynamic and without dynamic.